Good afternoon. Today I'm going to present a tutorial on how to highlight late tasks on a Gantt chart in a Microsoft project schedule. Um, two assumptions for highlighting late tasks is that you have a baseline schedule and this you've progressed the current schedule. So assuming we have the schedule on screen, it's got the data date of I think 20th of, um, of November. And as you can see, the baseline start was the 25th of the project, was 25th of September, with the baseline finish, the end date of the 3rd of December. But the current, the live schedule shows that the, the finish date has slipped to the 18th of December. So we want to highlight so that anyone looking at this can see oh this this task is late and by how much kind of okay so what i'm going to do is to format the bars so, so if you go to gun chart format here you click bar styles now what i want to do is to add um two new bars so first of all i'll copy yeah i can copy the baseline bar so you either insert a new row or you copy and paste one that's um always existing a new bar style and what i'm going to do i think the baseline bar style has kind of has what i want so i'll do you do a cut you cut the row and paste it back that the row that you cut is still in the clipboard so if i come here and i paste it again see it appears but this time i'm gonna call it rename this lit task okay um the appearance i want it to be a full bar and it's still normal yeah row two so this time it will be baseline estimated finish because we're looking at we're looking for late task and so even if it if a task starts early as long as it finishes after the date and the baseline date it is late so we're going to concentrate on we're going to use the late the finish dates to highlight late task if you choose baseline estimated finish and so if you look here what we're trying to do is to calculate the difference of course this is the finished variance we're talking about but um unfortunately the finished variance is not a field available to us here so we go with normal baseline estimated finish and the end date so we're saying from the baseline finish date to the task finish date so we go we look for task finish so that'll be yeah to the stacks finish yep that's fine and this what do we do here um so we format this so if i go with um let me look for one that yeah this looks good and the shape what do we want want to point like triangles pointing inward for the left side so the start of the bar yep the color let's make it red and for this the color um we can go red too and then another triangle facing inwards the color we go red so all we've got is if it's normal task if it's late calculate from the baseline the duration from the baseline estimated finish to the task finish okay let's see if it will draw it yep it's drawn it you see so this is late this is late this is late so it's done it for for tasks now I'll go back to my bar styles. Um, if I come select this, come to the task, 
Now for this, um, I want to put the text to the right of the late bar. Late bar. So you put, you look for your finish variance. And it tell you by how much it's late. So this is 15 days, 15 days, 15 days. That's fine. So we've done for task. How about the milestone? This is also late. It's if you can see third and eighteenth. So let's do for milestone. Again, bar styles. This is a milestone. Yeah, we need all these attributes. So we've got milestone active, not grouped by summary not manually scheduled yep so again you cut you paste back then below your late task you paste it now we change um, we change this to you can actually use um, use the finish So we're looking for a diamond, where's a diamond? Yep, there's a diamond. Color red. Yep, solid. Yep. So this time is a in Microsoft Project the this mile we don't have start and finish milestones, they always have the same date, so but we still want to use baseline finish. Estimated finish and our baseline start. That should be fine. Um, baseline estimated finish. We've got that. And we're still showing row two. And again, we want to show by how much it's late. We can do finish variance. didn't turn out well it's not what I expected so let's go back so yeah it didn't turn out it wasn't what I expected so let's go back we'll fix it remember for the task we said it's baseline estimated finish to tax finish and yeah I'm meant to do the same here to show it's baseline estimated finish to the new task Tax and finish. So we go. Finish. Yeah. Okay. You click OK. Yep. And that solves it. So you see, it shows you 15 days. But we want to show an hour, like, um, like we want inward pointing triangle. So we go back. Should have done that before. All this, so we to look for inward triangle, a triangle for a shape, picking the middle one. We go red, red, red. Now this should be inward facing. Yep, and this should be inward facing too. Why is it? Why am I picking the wrong one? Yep. Color should be red. Yeah, this is what I want. So it shows that we're 15 days late, 15 days late. And that's it. Though, if you want to be a little more precise, we could do still here. Go to custom field. Pick one of the text field. Let's go with text field 30. And we name this um, late, late tax bar. Okay. I use a formula. For the formula, we say, I think we're looking for number. The number it's this thing is date here. Finish with the finish variance. We concatenate it with the word late. 
Okay, so now we go back to our bar star. Regulators. So instead of choosing finish variance here, we go for our late. Yeah, let tax bar and also here we do the same let tax bar. Oh dear, okay, okay, it's showing 7200 late. That's not what I want. I want the like the number of days late, so we go back to. Our formula now the 7200 is in shown it in minutes is done shown the finish variance in minutes so if you go back to this formula we do put uh, put this in bracket finish variance divide by so minute so close this Oh, no, it's like 60, that's the 60 minutes times, yeah, it depends on your calendar, the hours of day. I'm using an eight hour day calendar, so I'll go eight. That's, a, that's the number of hours I have in a day. So I'm converting the minutes to day now. So you convert to hours to, hours to date. And then you concatenate with, you say, add the string here. Yeah days late unfortunately with this if it's one day late it will just show one day late which is wrong but you can use if statements to to set for if it's if it's one if, it, if the value is one it should just show one day late and if it's more than one it should show days late so if i click ok here it's telling me there's an error what's the error now Yeah, I need to close this. Yeah, I thought as much. So, and this is what I wanted. So, it shows you how much is late. You know, 10 days late, 2 days late, 15 days late. Yeah. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.